Hello everybody. So today our immunity booster tip is actually not to add something to your life, but to take something away. In fact, three things. So we know that nutrition is key to your well-being and to your health. And we know that we've come so far away from what is good and natural and real and wholesome. In fact, we can't even tell anymore. We ask, is cereal good for you? Well, cereal's made in a factory um, by machines. Um, so, no. Um, but we have been kind of programmed to believe that it is. Um, but we can kind of deprogram. And what we've got to do now is take the three most toxic things out of our diets so that we can really begin to um, detoxify our bodies, build our immune system, because there's no point in adding things like vitamin C or vitamin D. I mean, there is a point. It will help to an extent. But if the, the environment that it's going into is so dysfunctional, dysregulated, then the effect of the vitamin C, vitamin D is going to be limited. Our body is the most ingenious, most intelligent thing. That's what we keep forgetting. We keep looking at the pill that comes from the factory and thinking that that's the magic. The magic is here. The magic is this. Okay, that helps. You know, that's just a little bonus drop of... of um, of help, of aid, but the actual, you know, the, the processes that heal us go on in our bodies, okay? So, um, what are the three things? You already know this, but I'm going to say it again. Sugar. So, anything with refined sugar, and that means everything that we've been... Uh, consuming for since we were kids that's been part of our diet that's been pushed upon us by the industries so cereals biscuits crisps pastries pies and um, all sorts of sauces that have got sugar and if you even look at meat products um like um sliced cold meat they've often got glucose syrup in them so you will find sugar everywhere so the best thing is to look at the labels and read the labels don't read the advertising healthy organic don't read that read the labels read the, sorry read the ingredients if sugar is in the ingredients put it away and you will see that you won't be able to buy as much as you could before your um your shopping will become real, wholesome food. So sugar is the first thing. Remember also, refined grains contribute to sugar in our bloodstream. So that's the second. The second thing is refined carbohydrates or refined grains. And that again is stuff that's made in factories. It's just easy stuff. It's hard to get rid from our diet, but it's easy stuff. Um, to eat and that's why we like eating it so things like um, the mass-produced bread that you get in in shops and supermarkets um, uh, pastas um, excessive portions of rice and so on so get rid of excessive portions of grains from your diet at least Many people get rid of grains altogether because grains are also one of the most um, highly sprayed products. Um, so they have a lot high pesticide levels in them. So you want to reduce that as much as you possibly can. And the third thing is vegetable oils. I've been talking about this for many years. It's the, probably one of the most toxic ingredients um, for the body, uh, we were told when we were, when I was little, 
the butter um, and lard um, and so on are, are very bad for your body key coconut oil they're very bad they cause heart disease well butter ghee lard tallow duck fat all the fats that are natural products right coconut oil even olive oil because it's easy to pro to produce um these are good for your heart and they're good for your body and at the moment with the coronavirus, we can see that um, it, it has been shown that the surfactants, the, the, sort of, the things that break down in our lungs called surfactants, they, um, for them to work properly, it's so crucial for us to have saturated fats in our diet. And what have we all been doing for years? We have reduced our saturated fats, healthy ones, and we have started consuming um, vegetable oils. Vegetable oil isn't a real product. It's an industrial product. Get rid of it. It's toxic. So get that out of your house. And if you start to look at processed food products start to look at the labels you will see this in nearly everything so you know start to reduce what you really need do you really need to eat that particular product and could you swap it out for something different so and um, those are the three items sugar refined grains and vegetable oils and that includes vegetable oil sunflower oil corn flour oil corn oil sorry soya bean oil um rapeseed oil these are all seed oils they, they are not natural oils so you want to stick to butter ghee um coconut oil um uh, olive oil it's not a seed oil it's a fruit oil um, and and all the the fats that come with meats if you if you eat meat so all of these products are good healthy fats enjoy them our body needs them to produce hormones it needs them to produce vitamin d it's really really important to have these in your diet you can you don't have to have a huge amount you can keep the quantity low um, and look after yourselves, look after your bodies. That's the first path to detoxifying. So today was a long five minute session um, and I hope you'll start to have a wee look at what's around in your um, home environment and start to get rid of that stuff from your home and from your body. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye.